everyone, Joe Brady here and welcome to Monday Morning Coffee. I'm preparing for a trip tomorrow. It's actually a vacation trip for once. No workshop, just going out and having a good time and relaxing on a cruise in the warmer weather. And since it's not a landscape workshop, I still wanted to have all the photographic and video equipment that would allow me to capture cool stuff while I was there. But it had to travel small. In fact, everything I'm taking fits into this bag here. And would you believe there are two cameras, two lenses, two video cameras, and all my batteries and cables are sitting right in here. Let's take a look and I'll show you what I'm bringing and why. So I wanted to think about what would be a great travel kit to take for all of my photographic needs, yet also have it fit in a really small bag. In fact, I got a little bag right here. Everything I want to have is gonna be in here. By the way, this is a, a fun little bag. It's a Tamarack. I was actually in B&H in New York City the other day, and it was in the used department for $31.95. Had to have it. Perfect size for what I need to do. So let me go over what it is that I'm gonna be bringing and why. First of all, I have my primary camera. Now I'm bringing uh, my older camera because it is really small and it is very lightweight. And that's important for when I'm doing my traveling. And what I'm bringing is my Fuji X-T30. It's a great camera, it's 26 megapixel. And I'm putting on the standard kit lens with it, which is a 16 to 55, which in full frame terms is a 24 to 70 lens. It's a great range. It'll cover pretty much everything I want. Now, along with that, however, I'm bringing one of the lens that's kind of a fun lens. This is a 25 millimeter f 1.8 manual lens from TT Artisans. I found this on Amazon. It's a really fun lens. It really gives you a wide angle of view, but what's really cool is the short depth of field. And if you really want to blur the background and just get something up close, very cool, very fun, very inexpensive lens. I'm also bringing a second camera with me and I'm bringing what I think is probably one of the ultimate point and shoot cameras that are pocket sized. I've had this camera for years. This is a Sony X100 Mark IV. They're up to the Mark VII now, which has a much bigger zoom lens. But this has a 24 to 70 equivalent lens on it. And really the quality is great. These cameras have long been considered the pros point and shoot compact camera. And the beauty of it is it literally fits in my shirt pocket. So I can bring it everywhere. That said, I do have a case for it because I do want to protect it. So I found this thing also on Amazon. It's a retro leather case, kind of a pretty much of an armor case for this thing. This just screws into the tripod mount on the bottom. So I get to use it this way. And then when I'm done, this just folds over and locks on the bottom. A really cool little kit, very tiny, very lightweight, but great photo quality. What else do I have here? Okay, this thing right here. This is an Osmo Mobile 5. They just came out with the 6, really not much of an upgrade, so no reason for me to update. But what this is, is it's a gimbal for my phone. Now, phones will shoot great video and great stills for that matter. But if you're going to walk around with it, it really helps to have something that will stabilize it. Now, if I turn this thing around, you can see that as I change my point of view, it follows. If I just double click on it, it resets. And if I want to shoot verticals instead of horizontal, I just double click another button and watch. And there it goes to a vertical, uh, a great little device for walking around, taking uh, videos. I'll be using it for shooting myself at times. It also has an extension arm right here. So if I want to hold it out further, or if I want to do stuff like shoot from down low on the ground, I can do that as well. In fact, if I wanted to do a vertical, or horizontal rather, you could see, just imagine the points of view you can get from shooting right here. Now it also comes with a little extension handle which doubles as a tripod, it's got three feet. If you don't wanna use this, I can unscrew this. It's got a standard mount on the bottom. I can put a tripod plate on here and mount this thing to a tripod as well. Amazing what you get for the money on this thing and a great travel companion. I have found myself taking this thing pretty much everywhere I go now. Now, talking about gimbals, I have another little device here. In fact, I have it in this super armor case, uh, which is not part of it. I bought this after aftermarket. This is called the Osmo Pocket. And why is it called that? Well, I'll show you in a second. Let me get it out of its case. 
and there it is. This is a 4K video camera that is also on a gimbal. Notice it, notice the head. It also moves with me. And you can see this little screen on the back. I can also connect it to my phone so the phone will actually show me full screen what this thing is seeing. But just imagine the kind of videos you can do with this if you wanted to get in really tight places. For example, there's a thing called flashlight mode where I can put it this way and imagine I could fly right under things. I have a lot of fun with this. By the way, it also records audio surprisingly well, although I will be wearing my mic when I'm doing audio like I'm doing now. Speaking of mics, I'm bringing a spare. I am right now wearing a Zoom mic. This is a Zoom F2. I also have my Tascam DR10L. These are microphones that record into these devices, not directly to the phone or your computer. So I have to sync the audio later, but I find I'm okay with that because the quality of the audio is superb. And since I'm using Adobe Premiere, it syncs it automatically, so it's no work at all. A couple of other accessories. I've got my color checker. This is the brand latest new version of it from Calibrate. Here's a color checker for creating camera profiles and also having a white balance here. And if I'm shooting video, I've got a video target to go along with it. What it does is it makes your color perfect with very little work. And then besides that, I've got things like some extra batteries. I've got a card case. And the beauty is everything you see here fits right here. So that's the whole idea. It's to, to be able to travel simply and lightweight so that it's not going to weigh you down. Because if it's going to weigh you down, you're not going to use it. And all the gear that I've chosen for this trip, you might notice, is small and easy to use. So I hope to have some great examples to show you in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and check back again. So I've got my bag all packed up. Thanks for joining me for Monday Morning Coffee, and I will see you online again soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.